Is there anything else before you submit? Before you submit, yeah, if you get the chance, sleep on it. When I have a busy day, sometimes I, I write stuff and I go off and have a nap. Once I've, once I've done the first draft, I slide off and I go to sleep for 10 minutes and I come back to it and I see it differently. And that, that always happens. Mm. So, um, but normal people, I don't count myself in that category, normal people will sleep on it overnight if they get the chance. Then you iron out anything, you look for wrinkles, anything that um, you don't like the look of, change it. And change it the instant you see it, because these are gonna be small things. And, and if you read through and get to the end, you'll have forgotten whatever it was. So if you can, just iron it out as you go along. If you're worried about your spelling, what I would suggest is that you find somebody over 40, who possibly who went to a grammar school, um, because they're more likely to be spelling aware than uh, if you're very young, but I don't want to insult you because your spelling might be brilliant. I'm just saying if, right? Are you invisible? That's another question to ask yourself. If you're writing, a, if you're writing a, an opinion piece, of course you don't need to be invisible, but if you're writing a feature or a piece of news, then you don't want to be in it. You, you just write a piece and nobody needs to know who wrote it. They might know from your style, but that's another thing. Now. Once you've, once you've finished, I would suggest that you read your piece backwards, sentence by sentence, from the very end. You will be astonished at how many things you pick up doing that. Because when you're reading forward, you know what's coming next, and your mind sort of takes care of it, and you don't notice gaps mm -hmm. and omissions. But if you read it backwards, you spot things that you wouldn't have spotted otherwise. So, that's about it, really. Good luck. <laughs>